Is this really the everything rally or is it kind of just the everything rally today? I think people are so tired of the leadership last year that they've come out with this narrative that we need to broaden out the market, that we're going to have an everything rally. Uh, but not all of these stocks, not all these stories, not all of these narratives are created equal. And as much as I would like to see every part of the market rise uh, without um, any pause, I I still think we need to be really focused on cash flow generation, on whether or not people have confidence in the business model and the management team. And that's really going to drive, I think, enthusiasm and sentiment over the course of this year. So combined with earnings, which are still going to be a major focus for all fundamental investors now that we don't have to worry as much about the Fed uh, and we, can, we know that we're on the path to policy easing, I, I just think the biggest winners are going to be the biggest growers. And we're not just going to broaden out for the sake of rotation. Is that, a, is that AI? Is that what you're saying? It's hard not to love AI, but AI adjacent themes as well. You know, there are a lot of enablers in the software space. Obviously, we've taken a good look at a lot of the data centers and other um, companies and industries that kind of enable the AI revolution. And of course, we're focusing really hard on those companies that own the data in each of their industries because they're going to be the winners. So it's not just a couple AI names, but I think it's a, a broader group of companies that are going to benefit from the significant technological disruption.